The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Leopard has had a very exciting run with its motor yacht group, so much so that it became time to expand on the brand. Meet the new flagship of the fleet, the 53 Powercat. I'm gonna put it through a full features inspection. Let's take a look and see how they've done. Now this boat's interior volume is 31% more than its predecessor, so let's start there. A pair of sliding doors open fully to four feet seven inches. The counter space cuts into that a little bit, so we have three feet three inches of usable space. And look at this, six feet 10 inches of overhead clearance. The galley is now positioned aft, and it's much more functional, and in between the two main social zones on the main deck. It's U-shaped and starts with Corian counters, plenty of open space for serving. Microwave oven, convection microwave oven actually. Gas stove, plenty of storage underneath, and we also have a refrigerated drawer. There's even more storage in the deck because this is a catamaran. Room is everywhere. Across, look at this, a full-size refrigerator with water and ice in the door, freezer space underneath, kitchen sink, dish drying space. That's convenient to have, and underneath, is an actual dishwasher. I have to say I'm impressed with the overhead treatments with the upholstered panels, LED lighting and recessed lighting, and notice over on the sides, air conditioning vents are up high so the whole room cools down evenly. Now moving to the salon area, opposing seating, L-shaped couch over on the port hand side, two person love seat over on the starboard side. This one is wrapping around a coffee table with beverage holders. To the starboard side, there's a 50 inch TV on an electric lift behind the love seat. Right next to the TV is an inductive charging mat. I also am impressed with the amount of natural light coming in from these windows that wrap all the way around the salon. Now a large glass door gives us access to the bow area where there are two lounges, one to each side, they can convert into chaise lounge positions. Single position, however, I'd like to see a couple more of these brackets to hold it into position. Underneath the stairs, there's bottle storage for the propane for the grill in the galley. The bow is squared off between the two hulls and 28 inch high rails have seats to both sides. Now again, on a 25 foot beam boat, there's plenty of room on the side decks to play with. Between the raised edges of the deck, 17 inches, but there's another 23 to play with before we even reach the salon windows. Rail height tops out still at 28 inches, and there's another rail running the whole length of the cabin side. Four steps, nine inches high, with an average width of 22 inches, transitions us to the aft deck. There's a rail just to the side of the step, and a full length rail coming down to the stern. Now let's look at the features of this spacious cockpit. This social zone starts with L-shaped seating to the port hand side wrapping around a solid wood table with beverage holders inset into the middle. It's on a fixed pedestal. There are two freestanding chairs to add to the seating. A sun lounge is over to the starboard side, L-shaped seat backs, and all this is under the protection of the overhead seven feet off the deck. And of course, storage is underneath all. There are five foot three inch swim platforms to both sides of a hydraulically actuated platform that can be used for launching a rib. It will hold up to a 10 foot rib in fact. To the port side is a reboarding ladder. Now there's another entertainment zone up in the flying bridge. This is access from stairs to the starboard side. They're still wide and we have grab handles to both sides all the way up. This is certainly a welcoming entertainment venue. We'll start aft and work our way forward. We have an open deck space that can easily be populated with deck chairs or loungers. It's surrounded by a rail 33 inches high, far and away exceeding ABYC standards, and the deck is all comfortable flexi teak. To the port hand side, double lounger aft facing, and then as we come forward, there's an outdoor galley with a double electric grill, a recessed sink in the Corian countertop, storage underneath, ice maker, and refrigerator. To the port hand side, U-shaped seating wrapping around a beautiful solid teak table, beverage holders in the center, and it's on fixed pedestals. This is all under the protection of the overhead, six feet, eight inches off the deck. Underneath is dedicated space for the life raft. Just ahead, forward facing seat. Now let's take a look at the accommodations on this three stateroom, three head yacht. We'll start at the master, which takes up the full starboard side. 
Well, this is certainly spacious accommodations. Plenty of natural light coming in from hull side windows and another window going across the stern. There's a sitting area right in the center. Shays Lounge across from a hanging locker behind mirrored doors. There's more storage just ahead of me here and a vanity with a mirrored lid. The berth is located just aft with storage underneath. There's a 38 inch TV and a swivel mount with storage just underneath. And of course, this stateroom can be closed off for privacy. Just forward is the private ensuite behind an opaque glass bulkhead and closing door. Mirrored cabinet up above with storage behind. There's his and hers sinks recessed into a Corian counter. Storage underneath directly across is additional storage. Another hull side window with an opening port and there's more storage in the deck. Further forward is an electric flush toilet and a walk-in shower. This one also has a hull side window and for ventilation there's an overhead hatch. Now this yacht can also be optioned out as a four stateroom forehead yacht, in which case this master will be a mirror image of the staterooms to the port hand side. Let's take a look at how that's laid out. We'll start by making our way aft and we've got a combination washer dryer. Obviously this won't be repeated to the opposite side. There's a privacy door right here and this leads us to the forward stateroom. The berth is mounted athwart ships with access to both sides. There's a upholstered headboard, sconce lighting to both sides, full length mirror to the forward bulkhead. At the front of the berth, there's a lengthy hull side window with an opening port. Underneath the berth, there are two storage drawers. Just behind is the private ensuite. This includes an electric flush toilet, Corian counter with a sink recessed into it, storage is below and above behind a mirrored door. There's another hull side window and the walk-in shower is surrounded with opaque glass. Directly across, still more storage. Now the aft stateroom, this berth is mounted parallel to the keel. There's storage underneath and alongside in hanging lockers, hull side windows fully aft and to the port hand side. The same six foot six inch headroom is maintained throughout this entire side of the hull. And the private ensuite is just ahead. This includes a hull side window, another Corian counter with a recessed sink, storage is above and below, and again, there's an enclosed shower. The generator and engine start battery switches are in the aft port cabin. So we've got the wide open spaces that can only be offered from a catamaran, premium level social and entertainment zones, and she's also available in a three or four stateroom version. It's all coming together in the 53 Powercat from Leopard. She's also fun to drive in big water, but that's another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, this is my full features inspection of the 53 Powercat from Leopard. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water. Thank you.